It's Ryan Payne filling in for Bob for this week's market commentary. And it was a choppy week on the street of dreams as U.S. stocks notched their second consecutively weekly decline with investors monitoring a mixed set of bank earnings, a bigger than expected drop in U.S. retail sales falling 1.9% in December month over month. However, the biggest action was in the bond market as investors dumped U.S. government debt on fears of rising interest rates as bond prices go down when interest rates go up. The 10-year Treasury climbed to 1.78% as this week's inflation data came in red hot. Thursdays, producer price index showed the biggest annual rise in wholesale prices on record as this report came in on the heels of Wednesday's December Consumer Price Index, showing the biggest surge in inflation since 1982. And if this wasn't enough to spook the stock and bond market, on Thursday, newly appointed Fed Governor Lael Brainerd suggested the central bank could begin raising interest rates as soon as March. So with higher inflation and interest rate fear front and center, bonds, and particularly high growth but loss-making companies are coming under major pressure. The tech-heavy Nasdaq composite has already fallen 5% since the start of the year, while more inflationary assets like energy are already up over 17%, and old-school cyclical stocks like our good friend Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway have already jumped over 7%, benefiting from this new world of higher prices. So clearly, the market dynamics are changing fast as the Federal Reserve has drastically changed its policy and led to the extreme inflationary pressure pushing down on the economy. So the question you need to ask yourself is, is your portfolio going to thrive in this brave new world, or are you still sitting with the portfolio of the last 10 years? Well, why sit there and wonder when you can know? Simply call or text at 844-752-752. 6692 to get a second opinion. Simply call or text at 844-752-6692. This is Ryan Payne with this week's Market Update.